Welcome. Learn about Wu Lin Tai, inventor of N95 masks and hero of 1910 pneumonic plague. W Lin T A H, also known as Go Lin Tuck and N G Lin Tuck in Minan and Cantonese transliteration, respectively, was a Malayan-born Chinese doctor renowned for his work in public health and particularly the Manchurian plague of 1910-11. Wu was the first medical student of Chinese descent to study at the University of Cambridge. He was also the first Malayan nominated for the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1935. Early Life and Education Wu was born in Penang, one of the three towns of the Straits Settlements. The Straits Settlements formed part of the colonies of Great Britain. His father was a new immigrant from Taishan, China, and worked as a goldsmith. His mother's family also originated from China, she was a Hakka second-generation resident of Malaya. Wu had four brothers and six sisters. His early education was at the Penang Free School. Wu was admitted to Emmanuel College, Cambridge in 1894, after winning the Queen's Scholarship. He had a successful career at university, winning virtually all the available prizes and scholarships. His undergraduate clinical years were spent at St. Mary's Hospital, London, and he then continued his studies at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. The Pasteur Institute, Halley University, and the Selanger Institute. Career In 1903, Dr. Wu returned to the Strait Settlement after finishing his medical studies. In September 1903, he joined the Institute for Medical Research in Kuala Lumpur as the first research student. However, there was no specialist post for him because, at that time, a two-tier medical system in the British colonies provided that only British nationals could hold the highest positions of fully qualified medical officers or specialists. Wu spent his early medical career researching beriberi and roundworms before entering private practice toward the end of 1904 in Kulia Street, Penang. Opium. Wu was a vocal commentator on the social issues of the time. In the early 1900, he became friends with Dr. Lim Boon Kung in Song Ong Sheng and joined them in editing the Straits Chinese magazine. Wu married Ruth Xu Chiang Huang, whose sister was married to Lim Boon Kung. With his friends, Wu founded the Anti-Opium Association in Penang. He organized a nationwide anti-opium conference in the spring of 1906, which was attended by around 3,000 people. This attracted the attention of the powerful forces involved in the lucrative trade of opium, and in 1907 this led to a search and subsequent discovery of one ounce of tincture of opium in Wu's dispensary, which was considered illegal. Wu began work for the Chinese government in 1907 and became vice director of the Army Medical College, based in Tianjin, in 1908. Pneumonic Plague In the winter of 1910, Wu was given instructions from the Foreign Office, Peking, to travel to Harbin to investigate an unknown disease which killed 99.9% .9 of its victims. This was the beginning of the large pneumonic plague pandemic of Manchuria and Mongolia, which ultimately claimed 60,000 victims. Wu was able to conduct a post-mortem on a Japanese woman who had died of the plague. Having ascertained via the autopsy that the plague was spreading by air, Wu developed surgical masks he had seen in use in the West into more substantial masks with layers of gauze and cotton to filter the air. Dr. Mini, a prominent French doctor who had come to replace Wu refused to wear a mask and died days later of the plague. The mask was widely produced, with Wu overseeing the production and distribution of 60,000 masks in a later pandemic, and it featured in many press images. Wu initiated a quarantine and arranged for buildings to be disinfected and the old plague hospital to be burned down and replaced. The measure that Wu is best remembered for was in asking for imperial sanction to cremate plague victims. 
It was impossible to bury the dead because the ground was frozen, and the bodies could only be disposed of by soaking them in paraffin and burning them on pyres. Cremation of these infected victims turned out to be the turning point of the epidemic, days after cremations began. Plague began to decline, and within months it had been eradicated. Wu chaired the International Plague Conference in Mukden in April 1911, the historic event attended by scientists from the United States of America. Great Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Austria-Hungary, the Netherlands, Russia, Mexico, and China. The conference took place over three weeks and featured demonstrations and experiments. Wu later presented a plague research paper at the International Congress of Medicine, London in August 1911 which was published in The Lancet in the same month. At the plague conference, Professor Danilo Zabalotny and Dr. Anna Chkorolina announced that they had traced the initial cause of the outbreak to Terabagan hunters who had contracted the disease from the animals. A Terabagan became the conference mascot. We raised the question why the traditional marmot hunters had not experienced deadly epidemics before, however. He later published a work arguing that the traditional Mongol and Variet hunters had established practices that kept their communities safe and blamed more recent Shandong immigrants to the area for using methods that captured more sick animals and increased risk of exposure. Later Career in 1912, Wu became the first director of the Manchurian Plague Service. He was a founder member and first president of the Chinese Medical Association. Wu led the efforts to combat the 1920-21 cholera pandemic in the northeast of China. In 1929, he was appointed a trustee of the Nanyang Club in Penang by Chia Cheong Lim, along with Wu Laishi, Robert Lim Kosung, and Lim Chonin. The Nanyang Club, an old house in Peiping, China, provided convenient accommodation to overseas Chinese friends. In the 1930 he became the first director of the National Quarantine Service. In 1937, during the Japanese occupation of much of China and the retreat of the nationalists, Wu was forced to flee. His wife and three of his sons had died in China, and his home and collection of ancient Chinese medical books was burnt. Although he was 60, at this point Wu moved back to Malaya and continued to work as a general practitioner in Ipo. In November 1931, Wu was detained and interrogated by the Japanese authorities under suspicion of being a Chinese spy, and in 1943 he was captured by left-wing resistance fighters and held at ransom. He was nearly then prosecuted by the Japanese for supporting the resistance movement by paying the ransom, but was protected by having treated a Japanese officer. Wu collected donations to start the Perak Library in Ipo, a free lending public library, and donated to Shanghai City Library and the University of Hong Kong. Wu was a Mandarin of the second rank and sat on advisory committees for the League of Nations. He was given awards by the Tsar of Russia and the President of France, and was awarded an honorary degree by Johns Hopkins University. Peking University, the University of Hong Kong, and the University of Tokyo. Death and Commemoration Wu practiced medicine until the age of 80, when he bought a new house in Penang for his retirement. He had just completed his 667-page autobiography, Plague Fighter, the autobiography of a modern Chinese physician. He died of a stroke in his home in Penang on January 21, 1960. In 1995, Dr. Yulin Wu published a book about her father, Memories of Dr. Wu Linte, Plague Fighter. A road named after Wu can be found in Ipo Garden South a middle-class residential area in Ipo. In Penang, a private road named Taman, Bulinte, is located near the Penang Free School. In that school, his alma mater, a house, has been named after him. There is a Dr. Wu Linte Society, Penang. The Wu Linte Collection, which comprised 20,000 books, was given by Wu to the Nanyang University 
which later became part of the National University of Singapore. The Art Museum of the University of Malaya has a collection of Wu's paintings. In 2015, the Wu Lin Te Institute opened at Harbin Medical University. In 2019, the Lancet launched an annual Wackley Wu Lin Te Prize in honor of Wu and the publication's founding editor Thomas Wackley. Dr. Wu Lin Te is regarded as the first person to modernize China's medical services and medical education. In Harbin Medical University, bronze statues of him commemorate his contributions to public health, preventive medicine, and medical education. During the coronavirus disease outbreak of 2019, several scholars argued that Wu's work had contemporary relevance to the field of epidemiology. Learn about Wu Lin Te, inventor of N95 masks and hero of 1910 pneumonic plague. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.